Okay, so straight up, I'll tell you guys, Mario Strikers is on this list, and that's really exciting because I love Mario Strikers on the GameCube. If this comes true, I'm going to be incredibly hyped for this game. I usually try to set my expectations low for these Nintendo Switch leaks, but Mario Strikers, guys, if it comes true, it's going to be on the Switch. I can't hold my hype in on that. Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the RoboChan Show, where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we are going to talk about some new Nintendo Switch leaks that gives out 17 new Nintendo Switch games by a leaker called Eclipse over on Twitter. Now the good thing about this Nintendo Switch leak list is that it will be fairly easy to prove if it's wrong or right when E3 2021 comes around. With such a large list, there has to be some of these games at E3 2021, so if they don't come up at E3 2021, then it's probably fake. Now if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, it takes about 5 seconds, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's RoboRob93. And with no further delay, let's get on with the video. So when it comes to new Nintendo Switch games, there are a lot of games that we would like to see, not just Breath of the Wild 2 and Bayonetta 3 and other new Nintendo Switch games. Though these are really exciting, especially Metroid Prime 4, some IPs coming back would be nice, right? So now that E3 2021 is coming up, which by the way, if you didn't know, Nintendo is officially going to E3, which is Saturday, June 12th to Tuesday, June 15th. I've actually seen quite a lot of people kind of confused on that whole situation. Just know those are the dates and Nintendo is going to E3. But as I was saying, E3 E3 is coming up, and with E3 comes a lot of new Nintendo Switch games and reveals. And this means that it's like Christmas for Nintendo Switch leaks and Nintendo Switch rumors to be constantly popping up. That makes no sense whatsoever, I don't know why I wrote Christmas. But anyways, whether it be Zelda's 35th anniversary or the 2D Metroid Prime rumors, there really hasn't been any let up on these leaks and rumors, and it seems that we have a huge Nintendo Switch leak with a whopping 17 games. So the first one on this list is a game that we've covered here recently by another Nintendo leaker, and that is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot isn't the only one that's echoed here. Dark Souls 2 is also on this Nintendo Switch leak list. This continues the third-party support that Nintendo has been getting, and if true, probably means that it's not going to dry up anytime soon. Tales of Destiny 2 is next on the list. Now, Tales of Destiny 2 was released back on the PS2 and I think the PS1, if I remember correctly, and is an RPG game. If it's going to be released on the Nintendo Switch, it's probably going to be in the form of a port or a remaster. Hopefully a remaster, because upscaling it to a better resolution would probably be better than than just straight up porting it to the Nintendo Switch. And moving on, the next Nintendo Switch game leak on this list is Fossil Fighters. Now, Fossil Fighters has got a lot of games on the DS and the 3DS, so it's probably no surprise that they're going to bring some of them over to the Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo bringing DS titles over to the Nintendo Switch is interesting and makes you ask the question. If Nintendo is willing to put DS titles on the Nintendo Switch, can we finally get Metroid Prime Hunters on the Nintendo Switch? That game is perfect for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, heck, not only that, but what about 3DS games like Kid Icarus Uprising. That game is perfect for the Switch too. I mean, you'd have to change around the controls, but it is perfect for the Switch. Now, to keep things clear, Metroid Prime Hunters and Kid Icarus Uprising is not on this list. I'm just saying it would be nice to see them port that over since they're already going to be doing DS games if this is true. Now, if you think this list is pretty boring and pretty average, just wait. Towards the end, it gets really, really good. Like, there are some games that will get you really hyped if you enjoy them. Anyways, 3DS and DS games that I want on the Switch aside, Time Splitters is on this list. Now, this is a pretty big game, and I constantly hear it being brought up online. If it's brought to the Nintendo Switch, I can see a lot of people being hyped for this game. And the next one is a Sonic game. Now, if you guys remember, the Sonic game that was recently in the news was Sonic Colors. This was about, I think, two weeks ago, and I did end up covering it. It turns out that a Twitter user found a German dubbing studio that will be dubbing a Sonic game called Sonic Colors Remastered. So this probably makes you think, okay, we're probably going to be getting a Sonic Colors Remastered then. And with this new Nintendo Switch leak popping up, it's probably saying, Saying that, yeah, this game, this Sonic game, is probably going to be Sonic Colors Remastered. I could be wrong, but that's most likely what it is if this list is true. And next up is a Virtual Boy title. Now, this really could be anything, any of the titles from that system, and it's really up to you to guess which one it is. Tell me in the comment section which Virtual Boy title you would like to see on the Switch. I don't know why I said Switch like that. But anyways, like I said, towards the end of this list, it gets pretty exciting. And it gets exciting because next up we have a Zelda game that, according to this leaker, is like Ocarina of Time or Major's Magic. 
Mask. Now this part is really interesting because a Zelda remake has been rumored for a while now. If my memory serves me correct, I think it's been since the Zelda 35th anniversary rumors are popping up. So the fact that this idea of a Zelda remake or a Zelda-like Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time keeps popping up is very interesting and here's why. Right now it is rumored that Nintendo is going to be doing something Zelda before E3 2021. I did a video on that yesterday at the time of this recording and if you want to hear about that you can click the top right corner of this video. It also has some other cool things that you'll be able to see at E3 as well if it is true. But with that being said this could be a Zelda game reveal or event or whatever Nintendo has in mind according to the rumor. And if so I'd be pretty shocked because Skyward Sword is coming out and this could end up cannibalizing some of those sales or people may wait on that game until the next Zelda game. Or I could be wrong on that who knows you never really know the future of these games and their sales. Now moving on to the next games on this list, they will be released between this year and next year according to this leaker. And these are where a lot of the big games come in, and I think a lot of people are going to get really excited for these games. In fact, one of them was talked about not too long ago by me in another video. I literally said how excited I would be for Mario Strikers, and the fact that Mario Strikers is on this list gets me incredibly excited. Now, Mario Strikers, for those who don't know, is a soccer Mario game back on the GameCube, and has not graced our presence with a new game since then. I mean, to my knowledge anyways, I don't think there's a sequel to it yet. If there is, I'll put it on the screen right now, but if not, I'll probably continue with the video. I mean, we've had Mario Kart, we had Mario Golf, we've had Mario at the Olympics, but no Mario Strikers, and if this does come true, I am, like I said in the beginning of this video, incredibly excited. Going to be incredibly excited. I can't even talk right, that's how excited I am. Now, not only that, but I think this next title is gonna get a lot of you guys hyped as well. A new WarioWare. There has actually been quite a lot of leaks with the WarioWare in there, but we haven't seen anything from WarioWare yet. And there really hasn't been too much new WarioWare games at all either, to my memory. But you could also say that for a lot of games. I mean, when was the last time we had a new Star Fox Adventures? I feel like I'm the only one who likes that game. Anyways, jokes aside, the next one is a new Earthbound game, and to be specific, it's gonna be an Earthbound reboot. Now, whenever you bring up Earthbound, the fans get really, really excited. I have never played Earthbound, so I personally never got the hype behind it, but if it is a game that I should check out, definitely tell me in the comment section below. And the next game on this list is gonna be a Sonic spin-off. Now, Sonic games are a bit tricky, but Sonic spin-offs, those don't tend to be very good. Especially the ones that stray far, far, far away from you usual Sonic gameplay. I'm looking at you, Sonic Riders, but I, actually, I did like Sonic Riders. Oh, no, no, wait, no, that was Kirby Riders. It was Kirby Riders, not Sonic Riders. Correction, Kirby Air Riders, not Kirby Riders. Yeah, so my point still stands. There isn't really a lot of good Sonic spinoffs. But anyways, let's hope this is true and the game comes out and it's a good Sonic spinoff and not one of the bad ones. And the next one on this list is a new Radiant Historia. Now, this is a game series that I've never heard of and upon looking into it a bit more, there are a couple games out already from Atlas. One one of them is on the DS and the other one is on the 3DS and judging from the screenshots it's an RPG which you guys already know I love my RPGs so I'm down for this game honestly. Again, if this is true. The next one is one that we've heard many 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 times and that is a 2D Metroid game. Now this game has been echoed through a ton of different leaks and rumors and whatnot for quite some time. If you want to hear more on that you can click the top right corner of this video. But it makes a lot of sense right with Metroid Prime 4 still in heavy development releasing something Metroid to hold the over the fans is a possibility and something that could be in Nintendo's plans. I mean, if I'm being 100% honest here, I would like the Metroid Prime trilogy first, but a 2D Metroid Prime would be really cool. And the last one on this list is more Ring Fit Adventure, which is interesting because I've heard a lot of good things about Ring Fit and even people losing weight on Ring Fit. As someone who's trying to lose more weight and just get in shape overall, this really would be right up my alley and something I'd honestly love to buy. I'm honestly thinking of getting the OG Ring Fit with the game. Now, if these games are at E3, then this list is true and if not then they're just not true we're gonna find out fairly soon but those are really just my thoughts guys make sure you tell me yours in the comment section below are you excited for the games on this list do you think it's real do you think it's fake tell me in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe for more video game news leaks and rumors thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe stay charged and have a good one